revenue and the goals you've created for it. And if you haven't monetized it at all yet, that's okay to just say, I, I do it for purely inspirational purposes. I would say that um, the hours you put into a blog have nothing, if they really have no correlation in the beginning. <coughs> um, I feel like I worked on my blog sometimes more than I should have in the beginning and didn't see any results. And um, it's really annoying when people tell you, you know, when they ask, you know, you ask, how do you make your blog grow? How do you get a bigger audience and things like that? And it's really annoying when someone says it's organic or something like that. But mm -hmm. to be honest, it really is. You just have to, you have to catch a break. I, I, I really can't, there's no magic formula, but I think you have to be genuine enough to be authentic and things like that. But in terms of hours, I mean, I put it probably, in the beginning, I put in probably, I mean, there were a lot of nights where I would be at the computer still at 3 a.m., but I was doing it because I was like, oh, I love this, I love learning about, you know, like, they, someone was mentioning earlier, like, doing a Google search for, like, nav bar codes and stuff, like, I'd be, like, up at 3 a.m. trying to look for, like, the best nav bar code and trying to implement that, and I think that that's, like, those are things that, like, you're investing in your blog, and, um, you know, hopefully if you keep at it, you'll, you'll reap the rewards, but, you know, don't give up just because you don't see results immediately. I, I definitely agree with that, um, but I also think that you know, it's, it's okay to, to not spend 30 or 40 hours a week on your blog, um, and, you know, it's certainly fine if you, if you choose to do that, but... Um, for me, my, my full-time job comes first, and if I don't have time to write a post, then I'm going to have to, to be okay with that. And there were, there were, in the three years that I've been writing my blog, there have been days when I have really beat myself up over not getting a post up. But in the, in the end, you know, you need your sanity. Um, you need to be able to go to sleep so you can get up for work in the morning. Um, so I, in the, the past few months, um, I've really tried to not not necessarily step away a bit, but just cut down on my hours and really just focus on, you know, I have my life in front of me. Um, and as much as I, I love my blog, I also really just, you know, I'm not going to have inspiration if I'm not out living my life. Yeah, um, I totally agree. Uh, I definitely, I think it's all about priorities. So my meal job will always take priority first. And it's also about workloads. So some weeks, um, you know, we may have some crazy tests going on and have to prepare for it. Or, um, but also days might be crazier than usual, so I might spend less time on my blog. And at first, um, it was kind of hard for me because I'm a control freak. It was kind of hard to like let go of that and be like, oh my god, I didn't have five posts up this week. Like, what's wrong with me? Um, but I slowly started to like let up that control. And I'm like, okay, Wednesday is my day off day. Like, my lesson plans to do Thursday. I know I have to give myself that time to like get my actual stuff done. So. <laughs> I love how Julie uh, talked about um, just not beating yourself up for um, trying to put up a certain number of posts. Um, that's really hard to remember when you haven't posted all week or all month. Uh, in the case of my Marie Claire, during my Marie Claire style challenge. Um, and honestly, um, it fluctuates from week to week based on what I'm doing. Um, my last semester, uh, doing it, it, trying to balance engineering courses and the contest and research and prepping for LSAT tests and um, a bunch of other stuff. Um, I just didn't have time to blog. Um, I'm, I might have gotten one post per week up. I think there was one month where I only got two up per month. Um, now, I, now that I'm graduated and I'm in a transitional period and I only work part-time research, um, I have a lot more time on my hands. Um, and I don't really know how to define how many hours per week I do would work on my blog because uh, on styling or the recent photography collaboration I did with True Religion, um, I, I took photos, three style photos for True Religion and that, that could be considered um, either a photography job or that could be considered uh, hours dedicated to blogging. So I guess, but just pure writing, probably five to 10 hours a week. You have to be able to, to cut yourself a break every now and then too. Um, I, I recently moved with my husband to a state that we've never been to before. 
Um, and I was really just stressing myself out, out over um, blogging during the time that we were packing up our apartment and finding a place to live and dealing with all of the stuff that was kind of over our heads. Um, and then I just, you know, one day I was just like, why am I, why am I stressing out over this? I'm, I'm moving. That's crazy. I shouldn't be stressing out over blogging. I should be stressing out over way too many other things. What are some of the cons that you've encountered from not becoming full-time bloggers? I mean, have you had to turn down jobs, travel assignments, <coughs> things that you really wanted to do, but that because of your careers that you've chosen to put first, because that's your path in life, you may have missed an op. Can we explore that a little bit? Has there been an occasion like that for anybody? I missed a trip to Barcelona. Mango. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I got to send one of my very best blogger buddies in, um, instead, you know, in my place, which was an awesome opportunity. But, I mean, there, there have been several. I mean, first of all, I don't live, I live in Houston. And, um, <laughs> and so I don't live in New York or L.A. where I, live, and then I get invited to things and I'm like, oh, I would love to go to these things, but I'm just not. Yeah, that's that's one other thing. But um, but for me, um, just the nature of what I do um, in my like you know real life, I call it. Um, I it always has to come first. So everything comes first for that, and then I squeeze in whatever spare time I do have into blogging. But there have been times when I've kind of been like, oh, you know, like you know, I, I wish I was I wish I was there, or you know, a little bit of envy. But um, you just have to let it go because you can't be everywhere at once. Especially if you're choosing not to quit your day job. And, you know, when you're when you're in the blogging world, you see lots of pictures of people at parties and in New York, and it looks really fun. And uh, you know, there's a part of I I think maybe maybe it's not just me that like there's a, a part of you that feels like it would be really fun if, if I was there right now. Uh, but at the same time, like I'm totally fine being home with my cat on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> So, 